everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Hunter, and today I'm going to show you the correct way to clean a skull uh, using Mother Nature, aka maggots. So let's get into it. Okay, so the process is really not all that complicated. There's just a few things that are gonna make this work better than it might normally. Uh, first of those being, um, you have to keep the skull moist. If you just stick it out in the sun, uh, the maggots will get to it, but it will dry up really, really quickly, uh, and then they will die off quickly as well. So uh, what we're going to do is we are going to put the skull inside of a bag that is going to contain the moisture, and then we are going to stick it into another container. Uh, I'll show you here in a bit. That way, just keep rodents away, keep everything in one place, and it just makes cleanup a lot easier. The next thing that's going to make this work just a little bit better is to skin the skull out first. Um, the maggots will help down to help to break down the skin, uh, but it's just a lot easier for them just to go at all the tissue instead. So I've done that with one just to show you the results in comparison uh, to another uh, goat skull here that has the skin on it. Uh, we're going to put it in this container. As you can see, I've got lots of holes for the flies to get in, but coons and stuff like that can't get in there to take the skull. <laughs> going to leave the container in a spot that's uh, both sunny and shady. I'm not going to put it out just in the direct sun. Um, I do want the maggots to have a nice comfortable place to do their thing. So just a nice warm environment but not too extremely hot uh, that they die off. And then we're just going to leave it there. Let them do their work. Okay, it's a bit windy out, so hopefully you can hear me, uh, but it has been six days, I believe, five or six days, and we went from a raw skull, completely raw skull, to a uh, primarily cleaned skull that you see here. 
and that's just using maggots um, or flies and flesh-eating beetles in there as well. A um, couple of things, just again, keep the skull nice and moist. That does help uh, the maggots do their work. Put it in a bag, um, it, it does seem to help. Uh, this one, I just left the skin on, didn't do anything like that as far as the bag goes. And as you can see, there's a lot of hair that gets stuck into the skull. Um, I did lose some of the teeth on this skull. This one that was in the bag, I have all of the teeth. The skull is absolutely complete, so I'm not missing anything there. I couldn't find some of the smaller ones uh, with this skull and all the grime. Now, if there are still maggots in the skull when you take it out, you can simply just submerge it into a bucket of water like you see me doing here and all the maggots that are alive will wriggle out and float to the top and then you can just dump those out. Now, depending on uh, when you take the skull out of there, um, you may need to continue cleaning it uh, via maceration, uh, which I will do with these skulls just because um, I kind of did the shortest period of time possible for the video again about six days uh, so I'm just gonna finish it up uh, in a bucket of water just to make sure everything's out of there and then I will move on to degreasing and whitening the skull but if you just leave it there for the maggots and the other little critters to take care of longer um, you may not even need to uh, macerate the skull you can simply go straight to degreasing and whitening it and one last thing, even with skulls that have horns on them, horn sheaths, uh, works perfectly fine. The horn sheaths are not damaged, they slip right off, and you can process them uh, like you would any other skull. And that is it. I mean, it's pretty darn easy. Um, if you've got nice warm weather like we have now, uh, your times are gonna be super short, and then you can just continue cleaning them uh, like you normally would. But yeah, it's a great option. You know, if weather permits, if you have the area to do it, Yes, it does smell. I'm not gonna ignore that. Um, right now, they really don't smell that bad considering they've been covered in maggots for five days. Uh, they're not really that smelly. Uh, but the first two days can be pretty bad. So make sure you are doing it in an area where people aren't gonna get upset at you. But, all right guys, hope you found this helpful. Uh, leave a comment below what you think. We'd love to see if anyone else does this as well. Thanks guys.